You guys asked for it, and we delivered. Man, Nigerian traditional cuisine is so rich that you can never cover all of the recipes, no matter how many videos you make. And here we are again, finger licking, succulent, juicy, and peppery, we have it all. So, here are the 7 traditional dishes of Nigerian food to try, part 3. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 7. Ogbono Soup To start off this video, we're going to dive headfirst into a bowl of Ogbono Soup. It's slimy, it's hot, it's meaty, and it's freaking delicious. Just like some of our previous recipes, you eat this with your fingers. No fancy stuff here. So, if you don't know what this is, the first thing you should remember is that it's made with Ogbono flour which is soaked in red palm oil. Then, this mix is incorporated with the broth, the blended onion, and scotch bonnet peppers and the seasoning. Before taking it off the heat, chefs add the goat meat, the cow skin, and the dried fish. Some people even like to add some okra for the richer taste and texture. Number 6. Afang Soup This recipe is made with the ingredient you see in the name. They're called afang leaves and they're usually finely chopped or blended into the soup. The other main ingredient that you're going to see inside is the water leaves, which add that slimy consistency to the soup. Inside the soup, you'll often find all sorts of smoked fish, from catfish to crayfish, stockfish, and goat meat. But you can substitute the goat meat for beef. All the ingredients are cooked in a giant pot, but they add just a little bit of water because the water leaves aren't going to be moist enough. And then it's seasoned with some salt, red pepper for some heat, and blended crayfish. That's pretty much it. Number 5. Efo Riro If you like a lot of meat with a peppery onion sauce, then the Efo Riro is the perfect dish for you. The first step to making Efo Riro is to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, the actual first step is to cook the meat. You can see cow feet, cow reeds, stripe, goat meat, and beef. Then in a separate pot, they'll prepare the pomo or cow skin together with the stockfish. All of this is cooked until tender and set to one side. After blending the red peppers and the onion, you place them in a pan with hot palm oil and cook them. To this, you'll add some crayfish and season to taste before you add in the cooked meats. Add the cut-up spinach, wilt it, and serve. Number 4. Tuo Sinkafa These soft and squishy rice balls are made with a special variety of short grain rice that's really soft when fully cooked. Because of this, it can be mashed and molded into balls that you can then serve as a side dish with your favorite soups and stews. Number 3. Moi Moi this is a pretty common recipe in Nigeria. It's made with blended black-eyed beans that are first peeled and rinsed in cold water. The clean beans are blended with some charred red peppers, onions, crayfish, and chicken stock. Everything is blended together, mixed with some palm oil and some smoked fish. And this mix is then steamed in leaves along with a half hard-boiled egg. Number 2. Amala and Iwidu Iwidu is made primarily with jute leaves, and if you've never heard of jute leaves, then try going for names like wild okra, mallow leaves, saliyot, etc. And yeah, the soup is pretty simple to make and oh so delicious. The main ingredient is the jute leaves, which have to be picked off from the stem for better taste. They're washed and set to one side while making the broth. For this, they add some chicken or beef broth and cook the leaves inside. Then they're blended and returned to the pot to thicken. You can add some ground crayfish and ground beans for taste. And then you serve it with a hefty portion of amala. That's the delicious yam flour ball that you dip into the soup. Number 1. Shuku Shuku This is the first dessert on this list and it's perfect to use up leftover coconut meal from making homemade coconut milk. The blended coconut is mixed with some sugar and egg yolks. From this mix, you form some balls and you put them on a baking tray to cook. If you want the no-bake version, then just substitute the egg yolks for some thick and sugary condensed milk and form the mix into balls. Baked or raw, these are a devilish snack on the go. On a related note, which of these recipes would you like to try or make them at home? 
you can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.